hey what's up you guys Vusi designer here hope you well and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to install the metamask wallet on your browser not only that i'm also going to show you how to actually link it to the binance smart chain if you already have the metamask wallet installed to your browser but you just want to know how to link it to the binance smart chain you want to go ahead and just jump to the chapter i'm going to leave all the timestamps in the description of this video so let's go ahead and get started i'm using a brave browser here but this also works on chrome let me just show you how to do it on chrome you want to have a over to that corner there and click on that icon and click on settings when you're on settings you want to click on extensions obviously here you can see we already have the metamask wallet installed in our browser but if you didn't have the metamask wallet installed in your browser what you want to do is just head over to extensions and click on open chrome web store so i'm going to click on that and from here you want to then type metamask i'm going to click on it as you can see it's already installed on this browser so i'm gonna jump to a different browser here in this window i'm using the brave browser so i'm gonna click on that icon then click on extensions once you're here you want to click on web store obviously you can see it's the same you can see the metamask is here but if you don't see it here you just go and type it here and say metamask here you can click on add to brave but if you are using chrome then it will say add to chrome so let's click on that now i'm gonna click get started if you already had a wallet you'll import it from here but in this case we want to create a new wallet so create it's very important that you read all this stuff but i'm just gonna hit agree for the sake of time here you need to put your password my password is is very simple guys it just says please subscribe to this channel so if you can be able to type that in you'll be able to hack my account i'm gonna hit create if you knew you want to go ahead and just watch this video because it's going to give you a basic overview of what is um the metamask wallet and how does it work so i'm gonna hit next and this is where it get tricky this is your backup phrase you want to make sure that you keep this very safely secured i'm gonna click on that so this is your recovery phase right you use this if you want to move to a different computer or you want to move to a different device or you completely lost your password so you can use this to sort of like recover your account so i'm going to leave this obviously open to the public if you want to go ahead and hack my account you're more than welcome to do that so i'm going to click on note here copy this you don't have to do what i'm doing you need to keep yours safely secured write them down make sure that you no one ever finds them and you never lose them so i'm gonna hit next so what we need to do here is just to align these uh sort of like seeds these weights needs to be aligned accordingly um you can see here it says the first one says earth so we need to look for that and we're gonna go for earth right there i'm gonna go ahead and just uh, populate all of them All right, now we populated our seats correctly. Now what we need to do is obviously go and store that safely somewhere. And you can see it says congratulations. You can obviously go ahead and read all that. I'm gonna hit done. And I'm gonna exit out of that. Now we have our wallet here, but the issue is that this is a ERC20 wallet, which means it's an Ethereum wallet. What we wanna do is to change this wallet to Binance Smart Chain because we already know that Binance Smart Chain has low transaction fees compared to Ethereum. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over here. We can see it says Ethereum mainnet. We're gonna change that and click custom. Now we need to populate this with the right information. And these are the details that I'm looking for. I'm going to leave this in the description of this video. You want to make sure that you come to this exact section of this article. And you can see it says here network name. It says Binance Smart Chain. I'm going to copy that. Go back to my wallet. And just paste it here. And this is the URL that we're looking for. We're going to copy that. Make sure you copy from HTTP. And just copy everything. And come back and paste it here. And the chain is 56 paste uh, the symbol is bnb paste and the block explorer i'm gonna go and copy this and paste it here okay now hit save and you can see on top here it says changed it to smart chain so now we're on the binance smart chain so i'm gonna exit out of this and you can see it has changed from ethereum 
to BNB. So now we own the Binance Smart Chain. So if you wanted to send funds here, what do you do? You come to this account and you click on that and you already copied the address. So let's go to our Binance account and actually send some funds. So I'm going to go and just log into my Binance account. So in order for you to start using this wallet, you need to have some balance here. Even if it's just a tiny fraction of BNB, you can either swap which means you can swap, you know, whatever currency you have for BNB, but we don't have any currencies. So let's go ahead and just deposit those currencies. So I'm going to click on my address, then go to my wallet. You can see my account is only showing $500 because I've got my money on open trade. So I'm going to click on that. And I already have my address that I copied from this side. So to copy the address, you just come here and click on it and come here and paste the address. And then from here, you want to select the network. And we already know that we're using the Binance Smart Chain, but you can see if we were drawing from Ethereum, it's about $15, which is very, very, very expensive. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to say I'm sure. And I just want to, let's say I want to withdraw, I don't know how much, say $15. Let's withdraw $15 and withdraw. I'm going to confirm that. Then I'm going to submit. So let's come to our wallet and refresh it. I'm going to hit refresh. And here we can see there's nothing, even though we know the transaction was successful. So what we need to do is to add a token. I'm going to click on that. And we need to get a token contract address. So what do we get that? Well, it's very simple. I'm going to come here and click on CoinGecko. So in here, I'm going to go and type Tether. So over here, we need to come to this information here, right? We need to come to this information where it says contract. I'm going to hover over here and click on that. And you can see all the chains that are supported here. But what we're looking for is Binance Smart Chain. So I'm going to click on that and come back here and control V or command V. And you can see it's populates everything for us. It says USDT and we're putting USDT because that's the currency that we sent from our wallet. So I'm going to click next. And you can see it says USDT and our funds is here. So I'm going to click on add token. If we refresh that, now you can see um, we've got our funds over here. From here, you can go and send these funds. You can click on send and you can send these funds to a different address. Um, but I'm going to cancel that. What you need to do is to have a little bit of BNB as a gas fee right so there's something called gas fee but we'll talk about that in future videos but in a nutshell a gas fee is basically literally just gas in order for you to send these funds you need to have gas so a gas fee is sort of like responsible for transaction fees on a network so we need to have a little bit of that within our wallet So in order for you to access your wallet through your Chrome extension, click on this extension icon here and pin your wallet. You can see as you pin it, it pops up here. If I unpin it, it's going to go away. So I'm going to pin it and leave it like that. And every time I wanted to access the wallet, I'll just click here. And obviously it will require my password to unlock the wallet. All right, now that we have everything set up correctly, let's look at one of the most used cases for this wallet, which is connecting it to a decentralized exchange. In our case here, we've got Pancake Swap. Within this decentralized exchange, you can click on this connect wallet here or come to the corner right here. I'm gonna click on that and click on MetaMask. And over here, we have to put in our password, the password that we use when we were creating our wallet. I'm gonna click unlock. And you can see that our wallet is indeed connected right here so that will be the most used case for this wallet and obviously you can use it to participate in icos and also just having this as a secured wallet instead of keeping your funds on exchanges thank you so much for watching as always make sure you give this video a like leave a comment on the comment section below and make sure that you subscribe and turn on post notifications if you want to see more content like this and i'll see you on the next one goodbye for now peace